Hi everyone, today I'm going to create a life-size leopard out of chocolate. I've always believed that feline translated very well with chocolate. As usual, I start by casting a variety of basic egg shape to get the initial volume. Then, using poster paper, I sketch the stencil for all the legs. I begin by laminating chocolate on the marble table to a thickness of 1 cm. I make this part look easy, but spreading chocolate evenly on the table without spilling is actually quite the difficult task. Once the chocolate begins to crystallize, I can start cutting each layer of the limb and begin the stacking process. Once all the layers from the legs are glued together, I can add it to the initial body. Then, I fit it upright on the table to make sure the structure is sound. Once the skeleton is finished, I can add the milk chocolate paste and begin sculpting the flesh and muscle definition. Then the pause, and I repeat the process of lamination to create a very sturdy tail. Once the tail is polished, attached and secured, I can move on to my favorite part, making the face. I usually like to sculpt faces separately and glue it on the body after as it's much easier to handle when I can hold it. I'm adding the tongue, also you cannot see it but I've created all the detail from the palette and the side of the mouth. Once our baby is polished, it's time to move on to the spray room. For larger chocolate projects like this one, it can get quite messy when we spray, so in order to save us some time during the deep cleaning later, we build a plastic tent that resembles very much a scene out of Dexter. Overall, the spring took about 3 hours and by the end I was covered with cocoa butter. It was super fun to create all the pattern freehand and once everything was done, I think it all came together pretty well. So it was definitely worth the trouble. Once all the final touch are done, I can start the process of crafting realistic eyes. And I thought of a technique using a homemade chocolate stamp to create the vein inside the iris. I was surprised by the result, and I think it looked pretty fantastic, which made the eyes my absolute favorite part of this piece. It really gives life and emotion to the creation. Once the teeth are in, I can start crafting the whiskers using pulled sugar. Once the cooked sugar that has cooled down has been satined, I can create the whiskers by stretching very thin strings and gluing them individually one by one using a hot pen. Et voilà, it's done. I've been waiting to do a leopard for a very long time. I love challenging myself with those big projects. It took me four days and a half and around 180 pounds of chocolate to complete the job. Feel free to tell me what you would like me to do next in the caption and I hope you like the video.